Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to fix a login error, Snapchat is temporarily disabled, support code SS06, SS07, and SS10. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So how do you actually fix this issue? So most of the time, if you're getting this error here, it's probably caused by you trying to log in repeatedly into your account. So you might have forgotten your account's password here and you try multiple times and you've been basically locked out and you're receiving this errors here. So there's actually three ways for us to try and solve this issue. So the first method that I would like you to do here or to try here is just basically you want to just wait for like 10 to 15 minutes for the lock status to be removed from your account. So in this case, just wait for the, the for that long, so 10 to 15 minutes and see if that solves your issue. Now, if that doesn't solve your issue, the next thing that you could do here is just click on the forgot your password. So if you've forgotten your password for your account here and you really can't basically access your account here. Now in here, you want to basically just wait for the 10 to 15 mark when your account is locked and just click on forgot password. And from here, you could choose the via phone or via email option here. Now from there, just go ahead and proceed with the steps on how to basically recover your account via the forgot password option. Now if that doesn't work and you've not forgotten your password and you're still having these errors popping up into your screen, well the next best thing that we could do here is just basically check if there are any updates on the Snapchat mobile application. So go ahead and go to Play Store and search for Snapchat. And in here, if you see any updates on Snapchat, make sure that you install that. Because sometimes with my phone here, just to give you an example, sometimes mobile applications will not be automatically updated, especially if you haven't used that application in a while. So go ahead and update your Snapchat mobile application and see if that solves your issue. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.